we are now looking at the area of use less natural gas. There are just six action items in this area. This is another area where we can save money on our utility bill. That bill shows us how many therms of gas we use each day. We will need to look at least a one year period to consider the effects of the seasons on our natural gas usage. Our natural gas meter will not be helpful in measuring our usage, but make sure that you learn how to shut off the flow of gas to your home in an emergency and have the necessary tools available. You must first loosen the retaining nut and then you can turn the shutoff valve. Instead of a vampire sucking our electricity with natural gas, we're concerned about using it to wastefully heat the air outside of our home. We'll talk more about that later. The first action item is turn down the hot water temperature. This is really easy to do. You don't need scalding hot water coming out of your taps. Keep adjusting it lower and lower until you find the right spot. The second action item is use cold water instead of warm or hot water when practical. We wash all of our clothes in cold water now and they come out just as clean. An interesting habit we have is to turn on the hot water to rinse our face or brush our teeth. Since the pipes under the house are cold, all we get is cold water. So why not just use the cold water tap? Did you know that splashing your face with cold water is calming and de-stressing? It is related to a reflex in our body to relax when we are immersed in water in order to prevent drowning. It is called the mammalian diving reflex. How about a nice cold shower? Yikes! The third action item is turn down the house heater and wear warmer clothing. At certain times in the late winter or spring, we just turn the heater all the way down and then fire it up when it gets cold in the late fall. It is pretty easy to wear some nice warm cotton or wool clothing when you feel cold rather than turn up the heat. During the winter, we set the temperature as low as possible. You should know that electric space heaters consume a large amount of electricity, so use them sparingly. The fourth action item is turn down the water heater and house heater temperatures when traveling. When you are lowering your te the temperature on your water heater, you might have noticed a setting marked VAC. This stands for vacation. If you are away from your home for more than a few days, turn the dial to VAC to conserve natural gas. If you do choose to turn off the water heater, you should also turn off the gas shutoff valve near the water heater. You will need to be able to relight the pilot light of the water heater. And this is a good skill to acquire. We don't do enough traveling to check this action item.
The fifth action item is close heater vents in unoccupied rooms. Our house is pretty small and does not have central heating, nor do we have extra rooms. So this does not apply to us. Some of us do need to use the home heater to prevent mold in the house. So this need must be factored in. I must say this is a pretty easy area to do all the small things to use less natural gas. So let's move to the sixth and final action item. The sixth action item is insulate the water heater and hot water pipes. Our water heater exterior is pretty cool, so I don't think it really needs an insulating blanket. Most of the wasted heat is lost through the center vent. So turning down the water heater and using less hot water might be the best course of action. When we fill up the hot water pipes with hot water, they just cool down and heat up the outside air. I will put some foam tubular insulation around all of our hot water piping. Wait, just a minute. Almost all of the hot water pipes are under the house. This action item isn't going to be that easy, but I will make a commitment to do it. Here I am, getting ready to go under the house with my foam insulation sample, my flashlight, and a tape measure, and of course, some old clothes. I will need to find out what size of insulation tube I need and how much I will need. The crawl space is around 30 inches tall, so I think I can do it. When you're 72 years old, it is good to regularly practice yoga so you can still do jobs like this. I wonder what I will find under the house. Well, I'm back. I had a very nice surprise. A younger version of myself insulated all of the hot water pipes several years ago, and I forgot all about it. I'm dirty, but the job is done. And the good news is that I did not find any other problems, like water leaks, icky smells, dead animals, or other nasty things. I feel like having a nice cold shower. I've washed up with some nice cold water. So it looks like I can check off four of the six action items. We will keep trying to change habits and look forward to more reductions in our natural gas bill. We are enjoying the dollar savings and knowing that we are doing our part in reducing greenhouse gas emissions by using less natural gas.